5G is a huge enabler of boundless XR. I'm curious, Eduardo, what you all have been demonstrating here today. Yes, yeah, Sean, uh, today we are demonstrating um, uh, how 5G will uh, enable a great user experience for VR and AR um, by really leveraging 5G capabilities of uh, high bandwidth, low latency, and reliability, uh, and connecting both the device, the head-mounted display, uh, from the user to the network, uh, network edge computing resources. And so we can experience, uh, the user can experience a very, very high and graphical, uh, photorealistic uh, content. So we see these tremendous gains in throughput and these reductions in latency, but you mentioned a little bit the distribution of processing that makes XR possible. Could you expound on that a little bit? Absolutely. So it's absolutely important that on-device processing for these experiences are there to help kind of process all the sensor information that is embedded on those devices as well as all the high-end graphics and the display capabilities that we have on those devices. Now, in order to achieve very high-end photorealistic uh, uh, representations, we need to leverage also uh, the high-end compute available at the edge cloud because then you can rely on high-end CPUs and GPUs that are, you know, consume a lot of power, um, but they are made available through 5G, uh, high bandwidth, low latency, um, and reliable network. Um, so that's kind of the concept of bringing the two components together uh, with, you know, leveraging 5G. So as operators continue to invest in building out and scaling 5G, as well as putting this edge infrastructure in place, what is the trajectory for commercial products that will support these boundless XR experiences? Yes, um, so with 5G devices uh, getting commercialized this year, um, you can expect uh, accessories to be also be commercialized, so AR glasses or VR head-mounted displays connected to your 5G phone, and that will enable those experiences, and we're expecting that to happen later this year. It's an exciting time for XR, and I appreciate you sharing your perspective with me, Eduardo. Absolutely. Thank you, Sean.